to performance mode, which is totally against what you want if you're going for naturalism. I do not enjoy the process of auditioning. It's very invasive, which is weird. The actress saying invasive, I know. Um, I don't enjoy it. I can't just leave her with my mom again. She's already suspicious and she hates you. Worst thing you could do is automatically think you're not right for the part. Um, because you don't know what you might be able to bring to the audition if you are yourself. Um, that's really what they want to see. They want to see you and they want to see how you can transform into that character. Do a character analysis. Take the character, do all info you can based on the monologue you, give, you are giving or scene you are given and you do as much as you can to prepare for it. There's a lot of things on Google to know about a production that you're going to, going to be in on. If you don't know, then you fill in the blanks. You have to make Just it up. Just to see where your brain goes. I feel like that is pretty solid and explanatory. They just want to see, come in. I want to see how you do your work for theater. I need to see how you move across my stage. And if you're submitting for film, I need to see how you're going to look on my camera. And if you can help make that or beautify it as much as you can, then hey. Sometimes people read really well, and they'll sing great, and then during rehearsals you'll throw something at them and they get so lost. My audition with George Miller where I told him. And also just like some like, you know, visual arts, like trying to draw, but I hate the way I draw, but I mean, like trying to do stuff like that, just trying to still create something, but yeah, I mean, I don't know that I'll ever stop. If acting didn't end up working out in my favor, I feel I would be a college professor and I would teach acting and teach everything that I've learned because I had some pretty sucky professors out there. One of my dreams is to open, own, and operate my own theater.